Good morning all. Get my gloves. Well, we had a super night last night. We were in Bantry at the West Lodge Hotel. Absolutely stunning hotel actually. All had a great night's sleep. Great food. Lots of Murphy's Irish Stout. Today we're heading to Dingle. Got a long day today. About a, a 220 mile route. Yeah, 220. Uh, we're in the coastline, a lot of it I think. Let's hope the wet stuff is not too bad today. In fact, vents open today until I need to put them down because it's a bit warm. Start the big lad up. Turn on to speak to the others. Cracking night last night, lads. Martin, you did very well with this hotel, Matt. Very, very good. Nicely air conditioned all night. Pete and uh, Graham forgot to turn theirs on, didn't you? That's why it was steamy in there this morning. Come on, team, let's go for a bloody ride. The weather's uh, promised to be nice later on. And uh, as you can see, when we woke up this morning, it was wet, raining, but look, it's starting to lift already. So, fingers crossed, folks. We have a good day of it. This is lovely. This is what it's all about. Roads are drying out, lads. Confidence can be built again. Visibility is increased. What more can we ask for? I can't believe after the day we had yesterday and the amount of crap that this bike still looks like it's freshly clean. That's that ceramic coat. Amazing, isn't it, Pete? Peter? It's definitely worth it. I think that's the thing, you know, once you've had it done, if they clean the bike and, and rem remove any paint uh, marks or anything that's not supposed to be there. So it is better than showroom then coat it so that's how it remains forever obviously it gets mucky on top of that but once you've washed it it's back to like gleaming again you know i was just saying pete how the uh after all the shit we went through yesterday the bike still looked like new because of the ceramic coat it's amazing don't worry don't panic mate if the, if the route's in it can't go wrong can it so it doesn't matter which way it takes us to each waypoint as long as you've marked a waypoint as, you know, something that we need to see, then it's going to take us to it. And if, if Healy, Healy passes the next one, I'd much rather be on this lane than on a main road. I'd spend the whole tour on this, this kind of road, no problem. On this bike, anyway. But on a VFR, I'd want to be on the other roads. That's the whole point of having an adventure bike, isn't it? So you can go on an adventure. Glen Gareth. I can understand why you really dislike Dublin, mate, when you've got this. I'm country boy through and through. And, and to have this, this amount of like beauty on your doorstep, essentially, and yet people that don't know about this part of Ireland just want to go to Dublin, to the city and have the crack, you know. It's, that's not even scratching a tiny bit of the surface of what Ireland's got to offer, is it? I mean, look at that, just look. I'd take countryside over city any day of the week, any day. We're getting into the thick of it now. There you go, look at that. Let's pull in, 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 pull in. Pull in. 
Witty Island. Gentlemen, give me your best. That's what your best is. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful island. Oh man, look at that. Mega. Absolute mega. One for your fans, Graham. <laughs> Give a smile! I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you just checked the route again, Martin? <laughs> Stop it! Healy Pass. There you go, Martin. Are you uh, are you relaxed a bit now? Now now the, the sat nav's brought us to it and not gone wrong. Look at the state of that. Why would you paint it that colour? Healy Pass. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this in front. Look at that. Healy Pass, everybody. You definitely feel the weight on the bike. Oh, look at this up there, look. I don't know where this goes to. Well, it's good for a couple of photos, I'm sure. <laughs> Panicky. Just slow it, slow it down a sec. Just uh, let's get a photo here. This looks completely desolate. Look, folks. Who said you can't afford in Ireland? We're just following the sat now, that's all we're doing. I can't wait to get off the road again. <laughs> go on Pete, go for it. He's chasing all sheep, look! There's a turning point here, gentlemen. Okay, we'll do that then. These sheep are going to be coming all the way up with us, I think. Unless they cut off the track. This is obviously farmland, actually. Because the uh, sheep are marked. So we might get an angry farmer if we're not careful. We'll turn around and come back anyway. Go on, my sheep. Go on. <laughs> come up. Come up. Come up. There we go. Turn around here, look. Absolutely mega. Just look at that. Just take your time, bud. Best on your feet, though. Easier on your feet. Let the bike move underneath you, and it'll find its own way, the correct way. Just get a really natural stance really but yeah try and keep your knees bent a bit and you'll feel the bike making its own way you can definitely feel this extra weight with panniers and stuff on can't you and in off-road mode or should I say when you are off-road you should always really be in uh, manual so you control you control what gear? Yes, mate. As soon as you come out this corner, stop. And there's a beautiful photo of this bridge and everything there, right there. 
Oh yeah. Amazing. You alright Martin? Yeah. Panicked a bit then. <coughs> Fantastic. Yeah. No oh, Pete, let me get one of you. Stop, stop, stop. Set. Amazing. Do you want one, Martin? Go on then, Pete. Bit, bit forward, bit forward. Stop, stop, stop. Set. Don't move, don't move. Graham, jump in front where Pete and Martin are. Bit further forward, Pete. Stop, 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 Graham, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Right, stop, stop. Hands all up. Mega, mega shot. I'm getting hot and bothered now. <laughs> I need to get a move on again. Mm. Go on then. Go for it, G. Just follow it up. <laughs> this is amazing. This is awesome. Oh, look at this, yeah. Look. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Uh, hang on. Might as well take advantage while there's no cars. Healy Pass, wow. We're in the height of summer. And just because it's a little bit damp, we've got this to ourselves. Every cloud has a silver lining. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> that was a good one! <laughs> oh, look at this. This is absolutely amazing. And yeah, exclusive to us. <laughs> There's a car coming. There's a car coming down. Tra traffic jam. That looks amazing. You don't even want to go fast, do you? Mm -mm -mm. Wow, come on, look. One solitary car spoils the whole trip. I love that it's so misty as well. Looks Makes it look even more rugged. It's even slippy on the grass, on the feet. Come on then. Oh, really special this, Martin. There's some form of um, memorial on the left there which you come up. Whoa, 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 hang on, hang on. Healy Pass was built during the famine times in the year 1847 to help prevent starvation. The pass is named after Timothy Michael Healy, who was born in County Cork. He was a politician and first Governor General of Ireland and was well aware of the need for a proper road between Kerry side and the Cork side of the Beira Peninsula. He died on the 26th of March 1931 and on the 21st of 
April 1931, the new road was dedicated to him, naming it the Tim Healy Pass. The Tim Healy Pass is from Adrigal Bridge in County Cork to Lara Bridge in County Kerry. With a distance, which a distance of eight miles, it was previously known as the Belach Skirt, the way of the sheltered caves. Ooh. The name given to the ancient track through the mountains between Cork and Kerry and the Berra Peninsula at the top of the Healy Pass where Cork meets Kerry. Funeral processions stopped at this point, pushed the corpse in the coffin over the border. The awaiting people then took the coffin from the opposed from the opposite county. This is now called the famous Flat Rock. Wow. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Soak that in. Oh my god. Oh look at that house. Oh, is that like a heaven or what? Can you imagine? These houses look nothing around them. Nothing. You've won at life, haven't you, if you live in one of those? You've won. Do you know, as well, because there's no traffic, there's no, like, tourism or anything at the moment, today, it's making it even more special. Healy Pass, you would class that as the Cork and Kerry Mountains. Hmm. You know it's serious scenery when, when we're just ticking over in first gear and not really, you know, not bothered at all. What a special moment that was. Back on the Wild Atlantic Way. Do you want to stop for a coffee, Graham? It's Pippin. Right, where shall we, where shall we uh, park? I love that Graham's communicating with us with his horn. <laughs> well, that was an amazing morning. It was unbelievable. What a way to start the day. Saying last night, the, uh, the marketing department or person responsible for coming up with that logo for the Wild Atlantic Way is perfect. It's, it's so perfect, that logo, isn't it? You know, you know it exactly when you see it. It makes perfect sense. It's really cool. Here we go, joining the Wild Atlantic Wagon. Look at this. Wow. Kenmare River. Ring of Kerry. It's going to be a late one tonight. It says 25 past 5 already and that's without all these stops. It's going to probably be more like 8 o'clock, as I said. We're heading up into some weather, I think. Moles Gap. Yeah, if you remember, it was mega foggy when we came here last time. We couldn't see anything. Say we're going left to the Black Valley, yeah? Yeah? Well, well, okay then. Yep, that's why I went there. Martin. <laughs> I don't know if, if you think that I'm just driving around aimlessly going, well, I'll go this way, I'll go this way. When the sat -nav's telling me to do a certain thing, that's what I'm trying to follow. So when I want to go left, it's because the sat -nav tells me to go left. And you're going, oh no, go the other way. But why, why don't we go that way? I don't know. <laughs> As I was going over the Cork and Kerry Mountains. What a song, what a song. Welcome to Kalani National Park. Oh man, look at that. Thank you, Ireland, thank you. Well, lads, this is the most traffic we've had. What did you say N stands for? Nuisance. <laughs> Cause I was going over 
I might have to do a cover and try and put it over it while we do it while we're riding these bits. It's a good one to sing that is as well, isn't it? It's a, it's a belter to sing. The Metallica version, all in drop D. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, little cave. Yeah. <laughs> this is fantastic, I'm loving every second of it. While the roads are slightly damp, I'm more comfortable doing this speed anyway, you know, instead of constantly being on edge of the tyres. Which have proved to be good anyway, so I shouldn't be worried. Must remind me to power my power bank tonight, charge my power bank. It's filmed solid from leaving home to here, and it's still on about 20% remaining. It's made life so much easier for me with this power bank being in my pocket. I know it's a bit it's a bit of hassle to you know plug it in each time and unplug it if you're taking your jacket off, but it's so much easier at the other end of it where you're constantly having to get all your empty batteries out and charge them all up at night. It's just a you know so much easier. It's definitely the way forward for people who are doing a lot of filming, definitely. Links to said power bank are in the description below, folks, as everything else is, as always. Three more miles on here, then it's the first exit. Is that what you're saying, Martin? You haven't got it on. So you questioned my thingy up there when it told me I needed to go left. You you questioned it without even having a reference. So we should have gone to the left then. Mm, uh, you're a rum lad, you are. Has that motorhome seriously been struggling to get past because there's a car that stopped, stopped talking to someone? Look at that. Just stood here chatting. Car struggling to get by because he's still here chatting. Oh, there's loads of opportunities to get that front end up on here. <laughs> Fantastic. This is brill. Amazing. Look at this. Look at this, look. Oh man, this is awesome. Oh, the horse is everywhere. Going all the way up there, look. It is right through the, the middle of it all. this let's just stop here stop here stop here stop here no cars behind us no cars coming towards us let's just stop here a second Please someone get a picture of this sign. <laughs> Completely filling up a, t a, 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 a passing place. A big sign saying no parking. <laughs> My friend's got a mobile home and he parks in the Scotland, right? You've got a right to roam everywhere, right? And when it says no oversight, no overnight parking. He does it on purpose? He just unscrews them. Does he? And he's, he's got all of his <laughs> fence, he's got a little bell for them. Collected them? Yeah. <laughs> hey? Barbecue there. Yeah. Um. Car coming. These rocks. This is awesome. Really special. Oh, 
Oh yeah, look. Absolutely awesome. Unbelievable. This is the best yet, Martin. Oh, it's a big one. Oh dear. It's a keen one, that is, boys. Wow, this is awesome. I think there's a car coming. You don't want to meet a car on one of these airpins. Another in, another in. Wow. Welcome to the Black Valley. Ah, this is it. We'd have come the other way around if we'd have gone the Black Valley then. Oh my God. Need a photo up here. Look at that. I'm going over edge here. <laughs> Holy fish. <gasps> I nearly went over. Did you get that? <laughs> Thought I'd gone then. Yeah, this is super special. Did he get front end up a bit, Pete? <laughs> oh, look, it goes all the way down there. See down there, look. The gap of Dunlow, folks. Amazing. Really amazing. This is amazing. I like the texture of that hillside as well, look. It's like different. What a location to live. Black Valley Lodge guest house, that is. This would be a nice place to stay up here. Why couldn't you find that, Martin? <laughs> <laughs> location, location, location. Oh yeah, tin roof. I love this, I'm loving it. Oh, some waterfalls here. Salmon, maybe. 
you know, it's just you know, all in. This is exactly the kind of roads you should be on on these bikes. Exactly. Spectacular this is. Thank you very much. I can't even bring myself to do it. Sounds terrible. Does this one sound different? <laughs> Children, a lot of you! <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Could I have double portions of this please on a on a daily basis? Oh back at Mall's Gap look, see we've done this loop. This is the road that we were gonna turn oh, off on. Man, there that's you go. awesome. That's awesome, isn't it? Oh wow, that that is that what they call the ring of Kerry, is it? Yeah, this, that's the ring of Kerry, oh, yeah. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. fantastic, fantastic. Oh. Yeah, very, very, very cool that was. Mate, that loop we just did over there was absolutely brilliant. It most certainly was. To think that we're going up somewhere to come back to the same place, Kenmare, you kind of think, I hope it's going to be worth it, but that was more than worth the effort going up there, definitely. Moles Gap and the uh, Ring of Kerry is absolutely amazing. And Healy Pass, not forgetting. Today's been an amazing day, it's not even over yet, it's all got 126 miles to go. It's lovely seeing that twinkling off the sea there. What's that? What's the islands out there, Martin? Skelligs. George Lucas built them. Just knowing that you're on a tiny, tiny, tiny little island, it'd be amazing. Pull in, pull in, pull in, pull in, pull in. I'm starting to get very tired there. Wait, mate. Oh, good. Mm. Good time for a break then. Mm. Always good to stretch your legs when it's like that, isn't it? You're right, Pete. <laughs> Pete's over. <laughs> I can just hear him giggling. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> You're <all> right. Take <laughs> <Let me back. laughs> me a minute and just sit right there. <sighs> just look at that. You could be anywhere in the world now looking down at that. Here 
It's absolutely stunning, that is. Yeah. Christ, it's windy up here. I don't want to let go of the bike. Yeah, oh, it's blowing me all over the place. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, watch, just watch this. All you ever want, really, from riding and going away on your bike is this, net right now. Stunning road, stunning scenery. Not bad company. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just incredible, incredible. Is that someone's house? Well, there's no, yeah, it is, you know, it's someone's house. That's not, um, look, there's no sign saying it's such a hotel or whatever. That's someone's house. No, look, it's private. Someone's house. Holy sh shit balls. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's Charlie Chaplin. I know, yeah, I saw the thing, yeah, I wonder if this is where he's from. Charlie Chaplin, yeah. Yeah. Folks, look at this. Mm. Steep road ahead. Part of the same road. There's a van. Can't really see behind this one, so I don't know if there's anything coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on the corner again there. Oh, mate, look at that. What a mega climb that is. A 10 minute, oh, a 10 minute walk to the most beautiful cliffs in Kerry. Next premises on the left. Go on then, in we go. Cool. Amazing. Amazing day so far this is. Yeah. One of the best actually. Yeah. Well folks, we've just been up to the Kerry Cliffs. Big old walk but absolutely stunning. Have a look at these photos. Breathtaking really. It's just hard work walking all the way up there in this clover yeah. Worth it though, wow, amazing. It is now uh, six o'clock and uh, we've got another 70 mile. It says half past seven arrival to uh, our digs in Dingle. We're gonna have some food, some beer, and maybe, just maybe, a glass or two of whiskey. <laughs> Very cool again. That's pretty much Dingle over there, the next the next bit over there to the end. Yeah, pretty much right over there. Well folks, what can I say? What an amazing, amazing day it's been today. Starting out with the Healy Pass, onto the Ring of Kerry, Moles Gap, Gap of Dunlow, Kerry Cliffs. It's just been absolutely breathtaking. Really, really breathtaking. And obviously the sun's gone out to play for us, so. We've got a little bit further to go, about another hour to our digs in Dingle. And Dingle was the place in the last series where I lost all the footage. So I promise not to do that again this time. 
I can see on the on the big TFT that there's a tiny road that, that runs pretty much coastline all the way. Welcome to the Dingle Peninsula. Right folks, thank you very much for watching this amazing, amazing day's ride. I hope the video came across half as good as what the day's actually been. Well, thank you very much for watching. Really in Dingle. I promise to transfer all my files before I start boozing. We'll see you on the next episode where we'll go from Dingle to uh, County Clare, Shannon, Martin's place. What a belting day it's been today. Absolutely fantastic day. Really. If you're wondering why I've taken my pack talk off, it's just so I can talk to you guys. And not have to explain myself to those behind me. That easy to click on and off. Ten minutes to destination. Ten minutes. Seats for landing, please. Dingle Bay Ho Dingle Bay Hotel. It's there, look. Fish. I'm glad we booked our table. Go on. Whee. Steady on feet. Watch that car. There we go, folks. That's a belting day. Ready for a beer now, though. Right then. Oh.
seven Fishing 